So I want to talk to you about is essentially some of the striking mechanics that we do. One thing in particular is comes from a bit of the old crane form. Is an adaptation of what would be a traditional ridge hand cut. Uh, instead of making a long line and then turning with a body like you would do an elbow, but having an extended straight arm, boom. We adapt this into here, so I'm dropping with my elbow to come inside now. Okay, so if you're just looking at the strike, I'm not doing straight arm ridge hand here. I'm looking to do some of the work that then drop in, so I'm cutting in. So I have a little bit more application with this, a bit more variety in the way that I could do it, because if I'm in a close quarter comp uh, situation and I'm here, and he might have his hand here, so I might not be able to, if I throw this, I get a chance to come inside. So not only can I make a movement out here, I fan it in, here, I can drop him and go straight in. So it's a quite adaptable piece. If I look at a strike from outside here, if he blocks from anywhere above the elbow, I get a chance to drop in. If he blocks from below the from the elbow down to the wrist area, so onto my forearm area, I can use it to clear a block. So depending on your sensitivity of touch, depending on where he blocks, here it's on my forearm between my el uh, <laughs> elbow and wrist. I can use a short fanning movement in to allow me to get inside. Okay. So some of the nice areas that we look to striking with this, and again what I'm using as a weapon is predominantly this part of my bone close to my wrist, on the outside of my wrist, or for softer targets I might want to use something a little bit more pointy here, but it will hurt if you strike a, uh, a hard area like bone. So, for instance, to the neck, I could get away with just using the side of my base knuckle of my thumb into the point here. So, knowledge of uh, pressure points and pressure areas to strike, nerve plexuses. That could be a nice one to cut into here. Simply just following the line, skirting and silhouetting with my wrist angle. The same way as I could use a temple strike here. Boom. Um, I could go into other areas like the bicep or into the arm areas. Uh, quite simply by cutting down, so I can use it to drop in. So we get nice fluid touches with our arms as opposed to being rigid and fixed. He blocks this, here I still have an opportunity to pull, just soften, glance it in and go in. I also can use my, as the point of contact comes in here, I have now a lot more contact with the rest of my hand. If I want to refine scooping it away, I get an option to do that. So I have areas of control, so we can pass to go in. So it's just a nice little workable instrument that we have, is to use this. I'm painting with my fingertips to get the right angles and have the rest to extend. Yeah. So you could have it from a heel strike here. I could then go into a fanning form. So I now I use it as a scrape, scraping manoeuvre, to drop in, and so on and so forth. So there's just a lot of opportunities to so just understand that. So going from the form where we're going from the same thing, going one, going to the outside here, I'm clearing, I'm hitting one, two. Now from here, I start off with this motion. If it comes out to block it in any way, now I can cut in. If I can't get to the target of the head, I can use it to clear down. So now I'm back in control. Okay. So it's just just refine that. So we become a little bit more away from this ridge hand, which is a strong strike to the right areas. Granted, we can be just a little bit clever. So as soon as it gets pressure, we soften and yield to it and just allow it to flow through now. This allows us to just be a little bit more proficient in the way that we work and get control. Give it a go.